hi, floss tube. This is Sammy or Sam and a brand new video. It's a surprise and the surprise, in case you haven't noticed, is my background is not the same that I usually tape at. I am taping today from Just One More Stitch, my favorite little LNS in Roscoe, Illinois. And we're gonna meet Mary later, the owner of uh, Just One More Stitch. But for now, I'm gonna do my regular thing here. Um, I have been working, first of all, on my uh, Santa project, my Prairie Schooler Santas. I have 20 Santas in case you're new um, to my floss tube. If you're not, you know what I'm doing. Uh, I am going to be doing 20 Prairie Schooler Santas. It's from 2001 to 2020. Um, I have finished eight of them so far and I don't remember which ones I showed before, so I'm just gonna show them really quickly. And this is the Prairie Schooler Santas that are finished completely, completely done. They're really very pretty. I'm going to be putting fabric around each of them, different fabrics in red and green. I'm trying to, uh, to get the older fashioned uh, green so that I could, and red, that would go with the uh, colors that the Santas are. And then turn it into a quilt. So, that is the reason for all of these. And I've been working like a mad woman on these to get them done in time to hopefully get it done by Christmas. Maybe. We'll see. Then the other things I've been working on is I've gotten the next three. 2003 has all of the red. All their boots are done for all of them. But the red coats are a lot of stitching. Lots and lots of stitching solid stitching. So we got all the coats done there and that's what I've been working on is the coats and then I'll go back and do the rest of the pattern. But the coat is the major thing in these. And then I also, oops, today and over the weekend, this is what I've gotten done on this red coat. And this is what I've been working on today and I've still got the needle in there. Eesh. So I'm almost done with the red on this one. And then I'll move on to the next one and, and continue to do the reds. So that's what I've been working on. Also, I have started a few things. And oh, because I'm stitching at, um, at uh, just one more stitch, I'm having this professionally done by my daughter and her partner. Um, and they're standing here glaring at me, making sure I do everything the right way. Next thing I worked on, I just did a little bit on this one because I had the whole house done, but I put in these two little pumpkins this weekend just to, just to say I worked on something else. And it is Country Cottage Needleworks, Cottage of the Month, October. There we go. Hopefully there's no glare on there. Also started a new project, and this will be fun. A lot of work, but fun. I was just telling Mary, this is the pattern. It's a Halloween Fright Night Friends. It's hanging on the wall, which you'll see later that Mary did already. But I did the H, and it's a long one. That is 559 stitches on that H. <laughs> A lot of work, a lot of work. <laughs> but it's a really cute pattern and I wanted to do it for Halloween. My daughter loves Halloween. Both my daughters love Halloween. Uh, let's see, the next thing. Oh, and I found the anchor thread finally at Michael's. They finally have it um, on the spool. I bought the large spool and then I went back to get more and they were already out. So I've got the white and the, the, white and the black and then I went back and I bought the little spools. Wasn't crazy about buying little spools, but oh well. That's what they had, and I figured I'd have everything ready. Uh, oops, sorry. Unorganized. The 
other thing I worked on this weekend and have been working on lately is the Little House Needleworks Hometown Holiday Needle Workshop. And this one previously, I just had the, the cream color on there and I inserted all of this brown for the windows. So that's how much I got done on that. And I started another new project, which is for my filmmaking daughter that's with me today. And it's really cute. And she's gonna love it if I find it. Where's the, uh-oh, there it is. I found this through um, Michelle at Bendy Stitchy and I went out and got it. <laughs> it is the 10th Oh, I can't read it. Glasses. Time for glasses. Um, teeny weeny bikinis. The doctor is in. And her favorite doctor is the 10th doctor. So this is how much I got done. Right here. And I've got it on, kind of, I don't know if it'll show up on there, but I got it kind of on a sparkly fabric. Also a lot of stitching. All these things are so thick. I, I, you know, you think it's a little project, and then you get going, and where's the little... And this is the charm that came with it that goes on the on the middle of the bikini. Sonic screwdriver. What is it called? Sonic screwdriver. A sonic screwdriver. I guess all the doctors have sonic screwdrivers, and each one is different, so I don't know who this one belongs to, but it must have been the, the lady, the new uh, female doctor that they have. <laughs> okay, and then my boohoo for me is a project that I've been working on to do for my daughter that lives in Arizona, and it is this little uh, bearded dragon. That's what he's supposed to look like, and I got, I was working on him and working on him, and I just messed up the little guy. I got this much done. Look at that, I was almost done. And then I started filling him in and it, the, met, the, the counts weren't working. There's a lot of um, quarter stitches in here and stuff and it just wasn't happening. So I have to start all over. Otherwise it won't work. It won't, it won't look, I can't do it. I have to restart it. It's just not right. So that one's gonna be restarted. I. Also, oh, those things are strong. Got the uh, Cross Stitch University from Fat Quarter Shop, and this is how much I got done on this one. I don't have the pattern because it's downloaded on my uh, computer. It's a PDF download, and they also have. It came with oh, a pair of scissors. And this little thread or needle holder, needle minder. It's a little bird. I don't know how to hold them so you can see them. Very cute. I'm sure you've seen them through Fat Quarter Shop. Very strong magnet. Okay, and the last but not least, I worked on when I was still in San Antonio. Almost got it done and then stuff happened and couldn't get it done. But this is the quarterly. Stitch, uh, stitch quarterly and it is for autumn and this is what it looks like and almost but not quite this is how far I got look at that almost this is gonna be a pain in the butt up here the counting the counting the counting but I will get it I will get it done shortly. And that's all I've been working on for the present time. Starting new things, working on old, this one from the Country Cottage Needleworks, the, the uh, October is from my May Mania, May 9th. That's when it was started. 
So I'm trying to work on my mania, my mania starts and get them finished. I think I've got six of them done out of 31. Well, it's not that great, but we'll get there because another mania is going to be coming up. Oh, where'd that needle come from? Okay, going to have to find the pattern for that. Also, short bit of haul. I bought this pattern from right here, just across, just one more stitch. And I've been wanting this for a while and I've been saying, oh, it'll be there, it'll be there. And I, then I got afraid it wouldn't be there. So I got it. And I know it's done in red, but I'm gonna do it in a variegated purple because purple is my color. And the fabric I'm gonna be using, which I already purchased, is going, is, um, what is it? Mary, help. T um, Sands no, the greenish color. Oh, water lily. That's it, water lily. So that's all set. It's got like a green tone to it, and I thought that would go good with the purple. Not, I mean, like a really green tone, but it's like an off green bit of a tone to it. So. That's what I'm going to be doing with that. And as a matter of fact, I'll probably look through the threads today and see if I can find something to go with it. And that's that. Oops, wrong bag. No, I'll leave it there. Um, I also bought a bunch of natural light, which is what I'm doing all my Santas in. And I will be doing all of the Santas eventually, but um, for the I've already got the ones for the uh, 20 that I'm doing. I've got my... Uh, Barbie and Ken is what this one is called. Why they named it that, I do not know, but it's uh, it's pink, people. And I am not a pink person, but I'll figure something out. And then this is the other one from Fortnite Fabrics. This one I like. It's it's uh, in the gray, grayish, grayish green, I would say. Yeah. Very pretty, but they're 12 greens that they have. And then I bought this here, uh, some purple. It is lilac. Why do they call it lilac? It doesn't seem like a lilac, Mary. It's a dark purple. And it's a 14 count, which I don't normally get, but I bought it for something. And I don't remember now what it is I bought it for. Too many things. Maybe Halloween. Oh, that's what it was. I was going to try and dye it. I'm, I bought a bazillion colors of Rit dye to try and dye my own fabric. So that is all the things that I've been working on. And now I'm going to have Mary come over here and introduce you to her. Come on over, Mary. We're back, and we're with Mary now. This is the owner of Just One More Stitch, as I was saying. Mary, how long have you been here? We've been here nine years. Wow. In November. In November. <laughs> yep. And your mom used to be here with you? Yes, and she can't. Anymore? <laughs> right <now>. Nope. <laughs> so, yep. And uh, most of the things that we're going to show you later that's on the wall that has been already stitched were made by either Mary, right? And yes. or your mom. Mm -hmm. Everything. Yes. yes. Okay. 39 years of stitching. Wow. <laughs> for you or your mom? Both of us. Both of you. No, oh. I, me, for sure. For yes. sure. Okay, yes. mom probably yes. even longer, huh? <laughs> yes. Okay. And uh, what is your most popular pattern or patterns? Used to be Marybelia. Now it's Mill Hill. Mill Hill kits and that. So... And you have a lot of them here, mm -hmm. a lot of Mill Hill yes. kits. Yes, they're fun. They're small on the well. I once they're small ones that are like tiny, right? The, right. The little kits. Like, yeah, they're on perforated well. paper is what they are. So, so they're good for beginners. Beginners, yes, yes. Um, Everything's in the kit for them to start. So including the needle. needles. Yes, both needles are in there. Oh, one for so, beading. That's yes. right. Because they do come with beads. A lot of beads, people. A lot of beads. <laughs> my fear. My fear is beads. Ah! And which is kind of weird because I make jewelry as well. So I shouldn't be afraid of beads. But these are like teeny tiny little beads. 
And um, how, what other kinds of patterns do you have here? We have all the designers, pretty much. Um, we have Little House Needleworks, Cottage, Country Cottage, Country Cottage Needleworks. Um, we have Mirabilia. We have Dora Corbett. Um, what else? What else? We Hints have? it. Plum Street, mm -hmm. Heights. Um, what else? Just Nan. Um, hands on design. I see some yep. hands on design. Yes. She's got all the DMC behind me. She has buttons and pins and things like that. Little scissors. You'll see a lot of this hanging on, hanging on the walls. Excuse me. Um, as we show you the the store. Um, anything else you'd like to tell? No, not customers today. to come. Oh, fabric. Oh. You yes, have fabric. I have a by the yard, and I can cut it to the size you need. So on your patterns, or I have it by fat quarters too. So how I about Ada and linens? We have linens too. Thirty-two, twenty-eight. Um, I don't. I don't have forties. Usually they ask for forties. So. Um, but otherwise, they have 14, 16, 18, um, at 8 o'clock mm -hmm. to cut to their size. So, Okay. So that's, that's uh, pretty much what we've got here. We're going to take you on a little tour of the shop now. And uh, stop in. Come and see Mary. She <laughs> is at? Address? 11714 Main Street in Roscoe, Illinois. <laughs> and your phone number? 815-623-2331. There you go. Come and see Mary. So this is the moose, and this was done by Mary, and I have this pattern at home. I just started the, the nose of the moose, and I'll be working on that as well. I have a lot of projects. But uh, down here is a little tree that was done. Mary, did you do the tree? Yes. And the, your framer? is Lori. It? Lori. Lori is her framer and she did that for her. I love the cutout. Up above here is some more. And these are all your Mill Hill glass beads that you can use for either the memorabilia or other projects that you might have that you want to put glass beads on. There are patterns hanging all over the wall as well. Um, this is Farmer's Market from Cricket. Cricket. Cricket Collection. Cricket Collection. I have quite a few of those, but I'm not doing the market. I think I'm just doing the months. And up here we have Christmas, which is the colorful one with the Santa and the reindeer, the snowman up top, and then the little village, all in one color. And those are Mary's. Straight over to the pumpkins. They won a first prize in the Boone County Fair on that one. A lot of Mill Hill beads, uh, or patterns, I just, no, let's see, Christmas, coffee, shoes, uh, the little Christmas hat up top is made by Mary as well. Winter Friends, which is really cute. That's a Cricut collection too, isn't it? Or is it um, a? That's Heights. Heights. That's Heights, okay. And this one was a first place winner at the Boone County Fair as well, and this was done by Mary's mom. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay. And then that one up there is a very unusual pattern because the people in the front of it on the bottom are cutouts on paper and then stitched onto the the fabric. Okay, and this is a uh, Mirabilia fairy. What's the name, Mary? Iris Pansy. 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 She's yeah, she's named Pansy, and I've got this one as well, along with the opalescent fabric. I'm 14 count, and I'm going to be doing that one. I love it. It's going to go in my bedroom when it's done. The one up top, I think your mom did, right? It's a kit, and that was a kit. And then she's got some little round trick or treat Halloween patterns there. Okay. More Mill Hill. These are the tiny ones that we were talking about that all come in a nice little package with everything in it the needles, the beads, the everything. 
everything that you need to put it together. Okay, and then another beautiful little Christmas pattern over there, snowman. Then we've got a witch, witch beat, bottom of a witch anyway, on the pillow. And we've got Thanksgiving down at the bottom, which she turned into little standing pillows, which are really cute. These are Mill Hill kits, some of the Christmas buildings. They're absolutely cute. All done on perforated paper. Then we've got spring, birdhouses, and this Believe Santa was done by Mary's mom, along with over the, uh, the dress shop there, was done by Mary's mom, and the snow globe as well. That was also done by Mary's mom, the biggies. She likes to do big projects. And then we've got all the bell pulls over here. Some are framed, some are just done as a fabric background, Christmas, Believe and Halloween, the one I was working on. Just got the little H in there. Some flosses, we've got Weeks Dye Works and Classic Color Works and Water Lilies down here. More Mill Hill. More patterns here, different patterns. And this beautiful piece down here is a Mirabilia. We move this over. Mirabilia Rose Arbor. And then Mary did the Merry Christmas down below. And her mom did that beautiful pillow. We've got some sleds here. Needleworks. Prairie Schooler Santa's. That's where my addiction started, is right here with the Prairie, Prairie Schooler Santas. <laughs> We've got the little frames here, different frames for Mill Hill beads. Pumpkins and apples and different colors. Some with little vines on them and stars. Some hand drawn, some plain. More patterns. Got, she has all kinds of perforated paper in different colors if you want to do your own designs on perforated paper. More belt pool. And here we've got a bunch of those little Mill Hill patterns for ornaments for Christmas, for Thanksgiving, we've got some for Christmas, and some patriotic, they've got the Celtic Santas, and the Little House uh, Main Street. Here we've got our Mirabilias. This is one that I'm doing, the Raven Queen, but she's got a lot of them here. A whole bunch that you can pick from. And if you need one that's not here, she can order it for you. But there are rows of them. And then those bead packs for the different ones are also available. And some more Cricut collection patterns. And this beautiful Mirabilia up here that won another first prize. They usually win first prize when they do them. Another Mirabilia, she's a witch. There are a series of witches in Mirabilia, or Nora Corbett, I'm not sure which she, those witches go by. Patterns, the Little House Needleworks, Medieval Santas, Colonial Santas, Jim Shore Santas. Another first place pattern down here. Which is lavender and lace. Santa with the two little angels. Just adorable. Glendon Place on the bottom here. And then we're going to go around to La Di Da and some others. Oops. Over here. 
here we've got a lot of the Santas that were stitched already. Oops, turn them around. That are patterns. Jim Shore. That were all done by either her or her mom, Mary or her mom. Okay, so as you can see, we've showed you the whole store and we hope you come and check out this store and help out a local business and keep everything going. She's been here nine years and we hope to have her here for nine more. Um, I am going to get back to my stitching. Please um, subscribe if you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.